Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these lacy super do beaded earrings and I assure you they're easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you're worried that you don't have super do beads, twin beads with these two hole beads I mean that I'm using uh, they are, could be easily find anywhere in any beading store and I have suggestions down there in description where to buy them from. So if you like what I'm doing here it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I release new videos it's usually two times a week when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done like I have this bracelet matching these earrings and I'll link it at the eye icon and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. That is why it's a good idea to hit the bell if you still haven't. You could also help me by liking, sharing and commenting and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 0 seed beads and here I use twin beads or super do beads with the two holes on it. And uh, if you don't know where to buy them, just check descriptions. And here I have ear wires in this beautiful old gold color. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice, similar size. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that I use to go through the difficult beads if needed. Okay, and now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have half an arm span of thread and what I'm going to do next is pick up one of these beautiful golden beads. I'm going to slide those down, this bead down, and I will go back in circle through the same bead. Like you see here, I'm making a loop around this bead, and I could do one more just to be sure it's tight and secure. And this will be my stopper bead, but I will use it inside my earring. You will see how. Okay, now I'm taking three of these beautiful chameleon beads, super deuce, and I slide those down. And now I should arrange them like this two in one direction and the other one in different direction. And here I have an empty hole of my side bead and I'm going through it. So you see what I do. I'm going through this hole and then back in this direction if you don't see my thread. I prefer to use transparent thread just so my work looks better. But I'm always showing where it goes and you could also follow my needle. Okay, now I'm going through the empty hole of my neighbor bead, okay. Now I have this and I'm going to take one golden bead and one of these beautiful two hole beads, slide those down. Okay, just like this. And I will turn this bead in this direction. Then I'm going through its empty hole and through the golden that's next to it. And then again through those three beads in this direction. Okay. It's like when I was doing my bracelet, if you have watched my tutorial. If not, you know where to find it at the eye icon. Okay, now I take one golden one of those beads and I will repeat what I did from the other side. Slide those down like this. Then go through the empty hole of the same super jewel. Okay, like this and like this. 
and I have a whole playlist with SuperDuce and you could also find it at the eye icon. Okay, now I take this and go back. Okay, now in my next step, I'm going through those three beads in this direction. Okay, pulling. Oops, here I have a loop that caught my thread, but I got out of it. Okay, be careful of such a loops. Now I'm going to take two twin beads, I slide those down. Okay, like this, turn them in this direction. Then what I do is that I go through the empty hole of this same super dual bead and take just one of those beads and go here. Okay. Now I want to repeat this and this here. That is why I'm going through all of those beads in this direction to reach the other end of my work. Okay, going here. Here guys, I will repeat it. It's really easy. I'm taking two of these beautiful two hole beads sliding those down turn this in that direction go through it like this take just one and go here like you did before okay now i have this And now guys, as I'm here, I will make some repositioning. So I'm exiting out of this twin bead through this hole. And what I do is that I go through its other hole and through this hole of this bead that's sticking out the most. Not through the end bead, not through this one, but through the inner hole of this bead you see here. If you don't see my thread, I'm here. Then I go through this it and what i want to take is one golden one of these beautiful beads and one more golden okay this is what i have and i go through the empty hole of the next bead just like this and then again i will repeat the same thing a golden twin bead a golden and I go here. Okay guys, now this is what I have. Okay, now pay attention. Now I want to reposition my thread and in order to do this, I'm going in this direction through those beads here. I want to exit here like this. Then through this inner hole like this. Then here, I was just zigzagging as you may see and now I'm exiting out of this inner hole of this bead. Okay, I'm here before the golden bead. Okay, I'm not going through the golden. Now I'm going back here through the empty hole of this bead and I'm taking one golden, one chameleon and one golden and I go here like this okay you see then what I do is that I go back again through those beads in this direction I'm doing a lot of repositioning here in order to be able to do what I want Okay, and my goal, guys, 
is to exit again through its this outside hole of this twin bead and then through this golden one here and I'm taking three golden beads and going through the other golden okay now you see I have this and now guys major repositioning is coming because I want to go at the other side of my work Pay attention where I'm going to. If you don't see my thread, follow the needle. Okay, and now you see where I'm exiting out of. I'm exiting out of this twin bead that's here and I want to flip my work like this and what I want to do next as I'm exiting from this inner hole of this bead I'm going through its outer empty hole and what I need to take is one golden one two hole beads and one golden and I'm going here through these two. Then again, one golden, one super do, one golden. And I'm going here like this. And then what I want to do is repositioning of my thread. Then I go back through the empty hole of this bead. So I went through its inner field hole between those two golden beads. Then I went back through this bead. Okay. Now I need a golden, a chameleon and a golden. Okay. Then I'm going through this empty hole like this. And again, what it comes is repositioning okay i'm going here through all of those beads in this direction then here then i go back through this twin bead and i'm exiting out of this golden again okay i made a circle repositioning and now what I need to take are three golden beads, just like this. And I go, I'm exiting out of one of those goldens and now I go through the other one. Okay. And with this guys, the element of my earring is ready. And what I need to do next is again, thread repositioning and adding ear wire. Okay, so now the thread repositioning you're already familiar with, but I'm showing it anyways. Okay, and I'm exiting here at the top of my work like this. And now what I need to take is my ear wire. And I'm taking one chameleon bead, my ear wire, and one more of those chameleon beads. This is what I have on my needle. And I'm going back here through this golden in this direction. Now I have here my ear wire attached. And I'm going to make a reinforcement and make a knot just to finish my work.
And now I'm going to make a knot and cut my thread. And I'm doing it by making a loop here and going through my loop once and then second time. Then I make sure I'm between those two beats where I started my knot from. I'm going through my next beat and I could continue making more and more knots. And after that, cut my thread. And I could do zippers at the edge if I want to. Okay, and now my chameleon beaded earring is ready. Okay, guys, and now my diamond shape lacy super do earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. Like I have a bracelet matching these earrings and I'll link it here at the icon. And because you like the bracelet so much, I decided to make matching earrings just to uh, help your uh, projects uh, become more and more vivid. Thank you so much for watching. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Bye-bye from me.